How much water should you be drinking? I'm Dr. Gigi and this is your 1% Better Tip of the Day. So I get this question asked a lot. How much is a, a water is enough, you know, for a day? And I really dug deep in and researched this, and actually there is no real recommendation, unfortunately. I know you've probably heard all that, you know, eight ounces, eight uh, glasses a day, and things like that, but these haven't been scientifically proven. So what they have, though, have recommendations is not exactly for how much water, but total fluid intake, because we do get a lot of fluids from foods like vegetables and um, fruits and also from other beverages like you know tea coffee milk so they count all those together and they've come up with recommendations that are on average at 90 ounces for a woman and 125 ounces for males but these are just averages um, you can't just go by that because there's a lot of other factors that go into that and go into how much water you need so for example, big factors are where are you living? Are, is, are you living in a hot climate where you are sweating more? Are you very active and you sweat a lot? You know, you're very highly active. Are you breastfeeding or pregnant? Um, are there conditions like uh, kidney function issues or are you taking medications like diuretics? Are you a male, female, um, your body mass? All that it has to play a role into how much water we need. And that's why there's not one good um, source there that will tell us exactly how much water, because it is it varies so much from person to person. And you kind of have to figure out what is the best for you. And the best way to do that is just listen to your body. If you're thirsty, you need to drink more water, right? So by listening to your body, you can you can figure out what that what that amount is, and you probably are getting enough water because you don't want to overdo it either, because there is a thing called water intoxication or hyponatremia, which if you drink too much water, you dilute your uh, blood from sodium, and that can actually cause a lot of issues like even coma and death, seizures, things like that. Um, um, and that's pretty rare, but you do not want to get to that point and force yourself to drink more water. So just listen to your body and and just drink enough, especially if you're you know having a fever or you're doing a lot of physical activity or in the heat, you should be drinking more water at those points. So that's your uh, your tip of the day. Um, I'll see you next time.